Hey guys, it's me FireAlarm19122 and welcome back to another video. Uh, this video will be monthly system test 5.5. Uh, in the last video, I had found out that there was a problem with this smoke detector and we're gonna find out what the problem is. So I've got the system powered on and as you can see, the uh, ESL 511C is uh, in my room is blinking at a faster pace so we're gonna try and figure out what the problem is and see if we can fix it so if not you might see me replace the smoke detector in this video all right so I'm up here at the smoke detector and uh, I've probably said this a million times already but you can see that the smoke detector LED is blinking pretty quick so we're gonna take this down and kind of see what the problem is so I've got the NACS disabled because I don't have any hearing protection on right now. So let's see if we can see anything on the back. Um, so I assume since it is blinking fast, it's probably just telling me it needs to be cleaned out. So I kind of wanted to go back and while I was editing and show you guys this graph that I found for the ESL 511Cs or just the 500 series. It tells you uh, what the LEDs mean and um, what type of operation state it's in. Although the ESL 511Cs aren't CLEAMI compatible, which uh, this is what CLEAMI is for those of you who do not know. Anyways, back into the video. I'll just kind of just blow it out and see what happens. So, I might have done it, actually. I think maybe that might have fixed the problem. It's blinking pretty slow now. And that might have been it. So I guess we'll just we'll test it with the magnet and see if it activates. But and then after we test it with the magnet, I'll set it off using actual smoke just to test the chamber to make sure it works. Without setting this smoke alarm off, I'm going to take this down. But uh, that looks like it probably did the job. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and set it off using the magnet now. I actually do have... Uh... Uh huh. No, that didn't do it. So it's still, there's still a problem with it. Maybe I need to take it down completely and clean it out. So, cause it's kind of hard to blow it out when it's uh, hard wired into the system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this down off of the system, which will put it or give the panel another trouble. But whenever I'm done with it, I'm gonna wire it back up. So I've taken down the smoke detector and I'm gonna give it a nice blowout. <laughs> Blow in the chamber a bit. Go put the smoke detector back up um, and see if this works. But if it doesn't, that's all right, I've got like five other of these I can replace this one with. I'll just have to figure out what's wrong with this one in particular. Wired up the smoke detector and let's go ahead and put it back on the base now. And there we go. All right. Should be blinking now. We'll see if it's still blinking. All right, there we go. All right, let's test it now. Oh, there we go. That was the problem. So, the detector was dirty. Um, I knew uh, there was like a certain technology with these because I did read the manual to see if there were any uh, codes that say uh, that the detector is dirty and there is. So that's really cool with 
uh, that these smoke detectors do that. All right, so I went ahead and lit the Q-tip on fire. Come on. There's like so much smoke. How does this not activate? Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and silent or reset the system. Pretty sure that was enough time for that smoke detector to air out, so. But yeah, we figured out what the problem was. It definitely was the dirty detector and not a defective detector. So uh, that's gonna do it for this uh, half system test. Uh, if, you if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you enjoy this type of content. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.